cool what is up YouTube world we are back once again and uh, I'm filming from inside a closet so that's pretty cool um, sports have died down quite a bit over the past few days smaller moves being made throughout the NFL at this point um, kind of the middle class is filling out at this point but one move that came down yesterday is a very fascinating situation that we find after three years competing in the NFC South, heartbreaking finishes on their way to the Super Bowl. I mean, we're talking Minnesota Miracle, uh, non-pass interference NFC Championship game, upset to the Vikings as a wild card, 13-win wild card. The New Orleans Saints, finally, after Cam Meredith, Des Bryant for three days, whatever the situation, the Saints finally have a wide receiver too. They brought in Emmanuel Sanders in order to be that second option for Drew Brees in the offense um, as the future with Alvin Kamara becomes less and less certain as he inches closer towards free agency. Um, we see now that uh, Emmanuel Sanders, Mike Thomas, Jared Cook, um, what will probably be either Cam Meredith or Traquan Smith as the number three for the New Orleans Saints. We're going to see uh, that offense start to produce a little bit more efficiently, kind of in a way that the 49ers did last year, and they can utilize Emmanuel Sanders in all the ways that they want to, whether it's in the, the crazy wildcat formations with the pass, whether they line Taysom Hill up at wide receiver and Emmanuel Sanders at quarterback, whether they put uh, Drew Brees at wide receiver, Taysom Hill at quarterback, and Emmanuel Sanders at running back. We can play this game forever if we wanted to. The wacky formations that are at Sean Payton's disposal. By the way, Sean Payton has coronavirus. Who would have known? He had it for 10 days and it never went public until he announced like he's at the, the, the last stages of the coronavirus. Um, it's a very important acquisition for the New Orleans Saints because as they move forward, trying to start stave keep away the Bucks, keep away the Falcons, they're going to be able to keep away the Panthers easily. But as they keep away those two teams, um, Emmanuel Sanders is going to be a huge deal because for years now they've been able to succeed um, relative to the rest of the teams. I know they, they usually fall short of their own expectations, which is uh, a Super Bowl or at least the chance to compete for a Super Bowl like last year and falling in the wild card game. Overall, they, they are a very successful team despite never having a true wide receiver too um, that Drew Brees can throw to and is at his disposal. Drew Brees makes his targets much better um, than they may normally be. We saw that with Mike Thomas breaking the receiving record last year, and now it adds that other option that teams are going to have to be prepared for. Emmanuel Sanders is a great receiver still in this league. We saw that last year with the 49ers when he was basically even in an offense that didn't really do that much in terms of the passing game, um, he was still a true wide receiver one on a Super Bowl caliber team, even if at times they didn't throw the ball very much. We saw actually in the game they played against the, the Saints, which I think was the best game of the NFL season last year. And you saw Sanders 157 yards, one receiving touchdown, one passing touchdown. Um, was used in, in um, what's it called, the formations where the end around formations by the wide receiver. Um, he can do everything, and that's the kind of player that Sean Payton likes to use. So this may be one of the biggest free agent signings. I thought the best fit for him would have been the Colts, going along with T.Y. Hilton and Phillip Rivers, um, to complement as a wide receiver too, but he literally got put in a better quarterback, a better wide receiver one, and still gets the opportunity to be a wide receiver two for a team that's probably going to finish better than the Colts and win their fourth consecutive NFC South title. It is one of the best free agent signings I have seen this entire offseason, and Emmanuel Sanders waited knowing that his contract wasn't going to be huge, but he did end up getting the deal that he wanted, and they weren't going to closet his abilities any farther than they did in San Francisco. The Saints are going to use him all the way, like all the different ways you can use him as a wildcat option, end around, receiver, runner, quarterback. They're going to do everything with Emmanuel Sanders. It's actually a better situation than I thought with the Colts because 
like I said, the Colts met meant the Colts were made too much sense because they didn't have a true wide receiver two, had all this talent around them, and a new quarterback coming in who would absolutely utilize those weapons. Perfect signing by the New Orleans Saints, and they finally have a wide receiver two after all these years.